everyone. This episode of The Full Treatment is brought to you by Brujita Skincare, a Latina-owned Los Angeles-based skincare brand with products ranging from facial cleansers, hydrosols, facial masks, and much more. There are vegan options available. Join the Brujita cult. Shop at brujitaskincare.com. Hello, hello. It's nice to see everybody. Um, last week's recap, we um, two weeks ago, we went over the uh, Fenty skincare line. Um, please uh, check that out. I went in depth about the product, about um, a little bit about why, why I bought it and things like that. And I gave a, a pretty thorough review. So if that's of any interest of you, please uh, check that out. This week's episode, I am going over our newest Brujita products. They have finally arrived. We have come out with two AHA uh, jelly mask and uh, an ultra hydrating um, stick balm called, Hy- called Straw Baby Balm. I am super excited to be going over all the benefits of each product. Of I'll be opening, opening them up. Um, I'll be smelling them. You'll be getting the full reactions um, out of me today. I am just really, really excited. Um, about this particular episode. Um, These products have been brewing for a long time. Um, They've been, you know, uh, in in formulation and then not, and then taking a break and then coming back to them. So I can't wait to share a little bit about about the backstory on that. Um, I won't be answering any calls um, during this episode. I wanted to dedicate this episode fully to um, the new products, to introducing the jelly mask to you, and then also um, the straw baby balm. Um, I really feel like it needed a full episode just to go over the descriptions. Um, we've been getting a lot of DMs um, as well, just like what are the difference between the jelly mask and then the current Brujita clay mask and you know, just some concerns of, from from customers who have been using um, Brujita for a while. And, you know, this is, Brujita is kind of like their first skincare regimen that they've ever stuck, um, stuck with um, and that they use consistently. They want to know if um, introducing this, um, you know, chemical treatment product is going to be beneficial for them. Um, since it's new to the line, since we are now incorporating science with nature, um, you know, our regular cult members are like, this is a, a really dope transition. We, we just want to know if this is um, going to align with me. So I really hope that, you know, um, I really hope that this is received well. Um, as always, if you have any questions, I'm always open in the direct messages and IG. Um, As always, our skincare hotline is open 24-7 through voicemail, so hit us up, leave a message with any questions about skin, about magic, about any kind of product review suggestions. Um, I'm open to anything. Uh, The number is 714-537-4482. Okay, I am happy, I am nervous, I am content, I am all these things about, um, you know, discussing about these masks and about these products. Um, like I said, it's, it's uh, tested my patience, it's actually tested my expertise, um, it has been like a real like transformation for myself and for the team as well. Um, I involved, you know, Yamada and and the rest of the team in it um, pretty much since the beginning (laughs) uh, of like wanting to formulate these jelly masks. Um, The concept came about um, while while using one of my favorite products from a company called Filthy Cosmetics, um, and it was the Moon Mud AHA resurfacing mask. And those of you who had um, experience with the company will know that it was that orange jelly mask that pretty much just smelled like citrus. It was so good. It was my holy grail. I used it three times a week. It was something that was in my routine like for a while. I'm going to say for probably the last two years. And I, you know, like I said, I really connected with it. It left my skin very hydrated. It left it exfoliated. Um, it just was a really, really great skin treat for my, uh, for my skin personality. 
Um, I was super bummed when they announced that they were closing and it kind of like, <laughs> it kind of like had this like, um, I guess just like this nervous reaction of like, you know, this has been a part of my skincare routine. Like I feel like super glowed up like all the time. Like I feel super fresh. Like when I do use this, like I haven't found any other product that, um, you know, it is is really natural and that has clean ingredients. You know, there's no other company that I trusted like Filthy Cosmetics, you know. Um, and so it just brought me to that point of wanting to create one for Brujita and, you know, for myself because uh, I love using skincare products. And skincare products are, you know, my whole life. And I wanted to introduce something to the cult, you know, and that works really effectively. Um, like I said, at one point, I, you know, was test, my patience was tested. And so <laughs> these actually began as hydrosol jelly mask, um, which turned out to be completely bad. Um, you know, I had just researched the ingredients, you know, for probably about two weeks. And I kind of just like jumped ahead full force without realizing. And, you know, of course, since I don't use preservatives, it's like the hydrosols just like completely started molding and it just started like smelling funky. Um, you know, Yamada and I broke out from them and it was just like a whole bunch of like mess. Um, you know, I just had to do more work in, in terms of like researching, researching new sources, um, going back to older sources as well, and really um, trying to see what ing what other ingredients they can provide at like better quality. And so I ended up um, sourcing a really great aloe vera gel. Um, aloe vera has many, many consistencies and many textures as well. And so I ended up picking a really thick aloe vera gel. Um, the aloe vera gel, it makes up of about 85% of the product. So it's going to be really, really hydrating and really cooling onto the skin. Um, I've also added a bunch of extracts and unrefined oils to it. I wanted to mix, like I said, a bit of science with nature. And that's why I decided to source a plant fruit-based um, AHA. What is an AHA? An alpha hydroxy acid are a group of natural acids found in fruits and plants. Um, AHAs include citric acid, which come from citrus fruits, glycolic acid, which come from sugarcane, lactic acid, um, which comes from tomato, and tartaric acid, which is found in grapes. Um, there, are all, all, there are other AHAs as well, but these are, um, these are the acids that are in the jelly mass themselves. Um, these, H, these AHAs exfoliate the skin um, chemically without a physical scrub. So if you have experience with Purple Reina scrub um, or with Santa Limpia or with CLG cleanser, you'll know that they have a little bit of a grain to them. These do not have a grain at all. Um, these are very, very smooth and um, they are, like I said, very, very jelly-like consistency. Um, so you will not feel any grain to them. Um, AHAs are known for causing a tingling sensation, so um, it can cause the skin to feel warm to the touch. In skin school, my um, teacher would have us imagine Pac-Man eating away, like at our dead skin cells. So she would literally just go meh, 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 and like imitating them just eating away at the skin. And so that's like a really cool and easy um, kind of way to to um, yeah, relate to it and to understand it a little easier, right? Um, both of these masks are made of with a low concentration of AHAs at 10%, along with 2% of pineapple and papaya extracts, which also exfoliate and hydrate the skin. Um, they, are also known to, uh, they are also known to uh, unclog pores. Um, so it's very beneficial for those who um, have blackheads, who are prone to breaking out and cystic acne. Um, those who just have clogged pores, even for those of you who have clogged pores, like for a long time, AHAs and with a mixture of pineapple and, and uh, papaya enzymes real, will really help to soften up the pores and allow, um, allow the debris to go ahead and release. Um, some people have messaged me um, asking, does this hurt? I've never tried this before. Will it make me break out? 
And I want to be as transparent as possible and say that it can feel a little uncomfortable, um, especially if you've never had like a facial or you've never um, tried like a treatment mask before. Um, a treatment mask it, it usually means exfoliation. It means deep hydration. Um, you see instant results after using a treatment mask. Um, it does tinkle, I wanna go back to that. It does tinkle a tingle. I don't like to say um, that it burns, um, though some people have like commented already like, ooh, this sounds like it burns, like I love it. Like a lot of people actually really think that when a product burns the shit out of your skin that it's working. And that is like such a crazy misconception just because a lot of the time products don't even, um, exp don't, um, don't really express the percentage of um, the of the chemical percentage in the bottle of product, so it's kind of hard to gauge. You know, your your skin shouldn't be burning. <laughs> um, it should have a slight tingle, though. Should have some kind of sensation. But if it's leaving you with like rashes or with like instant red feeling, um, really really hot to the touch. Um, that means that you should not be using this. Um, sensitive skin, I always recommend for sensitive skin users to, um, to try out this mask for under five minutes. If you're scared or afraid of using the mask, but your intuition is telling you, like, I really want to try it, like, I, I feel like it can help me, then try it for minutes at a time, you know? Maybe introduce it in, onto your face, maybe introduce it onto your chest or your neck area first. Um, and like I said, minutes by minutes. Um, maybe you just want to try, um, try the jelly mask as a spot treatment. That's also beneficial too. Um, yeah, just like I said, I always recommend people who have sensitive skin um, to wear the mask under five minutes. This is such a great beginner's mask though, um, a great beginner's way to go into um, treatment mask in my opinion because of the low percentage of 10%. There are plenty of products on the market that are well above 30% of AHAs. Um, and yeah, I can really feel the burn just by saying that just that 30% just sounds really high, especially when you're dealing with acids um, that are from uh, citrus fruits or citrus plants. Um, those are known to, you know, being a little bit more sensitive to f uh, uh, being a little bit more sensitive to UV rays, which is sun damage, um, sunlight, and so, um, yeah, you just have to be careful with that. So, like I said, these masks are such a great beginner's treatment just because of the low percentage in them. So, let's get on to it. Cherry Bomb is our first one, and then we're going to have close-ups of this. Um, you know, the close-up of this is just so magical. Um, the black Milky Way of just like cos cosmic cherries is just like so cool. I'm just gonna open this up right now. And I'm just gonna share what it looks like on the inside. It's just so luscious. I love it so much. My favorite aspect of these masks are how hydrating it leaves the complexion. Um, it, you just so feel so hydrated, plump. The, the complexion is completely supple. Um, it's like a big reset, pretty much. The, ex the extracts I chose were, um, were of cherry because of the vitamin C content in all of these extracts. Apparently, um, Ace Rolla Cherry Tops Maki Berry, which I didn't know. I always thought that Maki Berry had the highest content of um, antioxidants just because it is so resilient, but I found out that Ace Rolla Cherries um, has a lot more antioxidant and vitamin C content. Um, cherry kernel oil is also present in this because it's just one of my favorite unrefined oils, and a lot of Brijita users, if you use Ichiso, and if it is your holy grail, you'll know that um, you know it has a lot of hydrating benefits. Cherry kernel is known to diminish the appearance of acne scars, dark spots, and also um, protect against sun damage and hyperpigmentation. Um, cherry blossom for its protective minerals against sun damage and hyperpigmentation. This extract is also known to reduce inflammation effectively, resulting in faster healing recovery. So if you do have breakouts, um, if you are prone to cystic acne, um, these extracts are going to hydrate your skin and provide a healing and nurturing um, benefit to, to, to the complexion. 
Um, I chose this extract also because of its meaning, which means rebirth and renewal. It's so fitting um, just as we introduce these new products and, you know, just like a, a new chapter in, in Brujita's um, journey. Yeah, just like very, very excited. Um, we're just, yeah, I'm just so stoked to continue to create effective products that help people and that are, you know, truly original. Um, the skin type that this particular one helps, the Cherry Bomb um, AHA Jelly Mask, is oily, acne, dry, normal, and mature. Like I said before, this is a great spot treatment. Um, if you are a beginner and you do have acne and you want to try it out, go ahead and use it on some of um, on some of your blemishes and check out and see if it's really helpful then. Um, the Cucumber Watermelon Mask. This is the best smelling mask I think I've ever made. Um, it just smells so juicy. I love it so much. There's like a perfect blend of cucumber and watermelon, and it's just, I don't know. I don't want to keep saying magical, but it's just so, I don't know, man. It's so cosmic. I can Sometimes I can't even describe the products just because, um, yeah, they speak for themselves. Um, I'm already getting told that it smells like a healthy Jolly Rancher. Um, to me, it embodies the juicy tears of both cucumber and watermelon. Um, it just smells really, really nostalgic to me. Um, this is the team's favorite, um, the favorite out of the two, and I think it's just because of its essence. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's also mostly because of... Um, you know, it's made with aloe vera, and I think of the cooling aspect of it, and then also it has um, potent sulfur minerals into it. Sulfur is known to um, unclog pores, which releases stagnant energy from the skin. Sulfur is also, also very antibacterial, um, so if you have cystic acne or any kind of breakouts, it's beneficial for that. Um, these properties help also build up the protective barrier of the complexion. Um, extracts are huge, huge hydrators that aid in faster healing recovery. So like I said, mentioned again, if you do have acne, these extracts really help to hydrate the complexion of the skin and really nurture. The more you nurture your acne breakouts, the faster the healing recovery will happen. Um, skin type is acne, dry, normal, mature, and sensitive. Also great as a spot treatment too. Um, for dry skin, I would recommend both just because they both have such hydrating extracts into it and unrefined oils. Um, the difference between these jelly masks and the Brujita clay mask um, it was a big question. They're like, I've been using the, the clay mask for so long. Is this going to replace it? Um, you know, are the Brujita clay masks, like, are they um, transitioning out? I even got that question. I was like, oh, oh my, like, I, I can't even... I can't even think about that. I was like, I love my clay mask so much. Like, I, I, I we... We love just like sourcing those ingredients and, and um, you know, each of those ingredients has its story to tell. We've, you know, been through, <laughs> we've been through a lot to get those powders. Um, you know, just, yeah, I mean, those of you who know um, a little bit about our story back in, you know, early January when I got really sick in Mexico, um, we were able to source um, a little bit there and so, you know, it's it's just like a lot just going through and sourcing that and a lot of energy goes into that. And that's something that I don't want to take away ever from Brujita. The clay masks are mainly known for detoxing the skin. Um, they do hydrate, but they don't provide a protective barrier. And when I say that, it doesn't necessarily moisturize the skin directly. Um, usually you'll need like hydrosols after or you'll need to re-up on your serums like right after a clay mask, right? With these jelly masks, they do provide a protective barrier because of the extracts and aloe vera. You'll completely feel moisturized upon washing it off. It's a perfect reset, like I mentioned before. Um, so those of you who are experiencing like dull, um, dull, dry skin throughout the week, these masks are perfect for just resetting the skin and making the skin super bright and super supple. I will always recommend the Brujita clay mask for detoxing and recreating and, and uh, reconnecting with earth. 
I feel like that is the huge value in the Brujita clay mask, and I don't want that to ever disappear. Um, yeah, from from this um, from this journey, um, the straw baby bomb. This bomb was almost kind of a. <laughs> It was kind of almost a joke between me and Yomi's just because oh, one day I just started calling her Straw Baby and I don't even know why. I have like a bunch of nicknames for her that, yeah, I just don't even know why. But um, one day I started calling her Straw Baby and um, all of a sudden I was just like, hey, why don't I make a product called Straw Baby and um, yeah, it'll be for babies and for adults. Um I had some strawberry, uh, strawberry, the Stoy Stone. I had some strawberry oil left from the In My Room collection. So I decided to tinker around. I decided to um, manifest on it. I decided to, you know, just like create a spell around it. And um, yeah, Straw Baby was, was, was born. Um, I really respect cacao and coffee seed and its healing and medicinal properties. And I really wanted that, wanted to combine that with the strawberry oil, which has a lot of moisturizing benefits, has a lot of hydrating, um, a lot, a lot of crucial hydrating components to it. Um, it's, they're all just ingredients that have a life, a life source that I really respect. Um, these both have, like I said, crazy hydrating and healing properties. These ingredients are completely baby safe, along with using ethically sourced bee beeswax, it grease, uh, which is a great protective barrier and moisture sealing ingredient. It can be um, applied anywhere, so your baby's bum, um, their head, their little necks. Um, I'll just open it up for you and you'll see. So it's a great little stick that you can apply anywhere onto the body. So their little heads, their little cheeks, um, you know, sometimes babies are super prone to eczema and little baby psoriasis, little like baby, like baby skin shedding, little baby everything. Um, so yeah, you can apply it on their little necks, like I said, their little toes, keep your baby hydrated and glowing just like you, um, yeah. No reason why your baby should be ashy, should be glowing, always. Adults can use it on their bums, too, and any other dry area, like your elbow, your necks, you know, behind your ear. Um, it's even use, uh, even safe to use on healing tattoos. So if you have, like, a dry, chapped-ass tattoo, go ahead and use it. Um, it smells divine. It smells like sweet earth. It's just really, really cool. Um, it's, like I said, a universal hydrating stick, so you can use it on your face. Um, if you're experiencing dry patches around your nose or around your um, face, those of you who are experiencing uh, maskne, which is um, acne due to uh, excessive mask wearing, um, which thank you for using your mask. Thank you for wearing your mask. Um, but yeah, we are breaking out and it's a, it's a real thing. So strawberry balm will help you with, um, the mask knee and go ahead and control that and add a protective barrier. So, um, the mask isn't absorbing all of your oils that you need. Um, it, like I said, again, it smells divine, like sweet earth. Um, I personally don't use eternal balm on my lips. I like to use it um, when my face is super dehydrated. Um, but I'm so happy that Straw Baby is here and that it's out in the world. Um, it's, it's, yeah, like I said, I know a lot of people don't like using eternal balm on, on their lips. Um, so I'm really glad that Straw Baby can be like a great alternative to that. Um, yeah, I'm just very, very stoked that people are liking it so far. Um, those of you who are lucky enough to buy from our secret pre-sale, please leave your reviews on the website um, and let us know that you're vibing. Um, I would really, really love to know. Um, I really also want to thank everybody for... Um, for loving the Amber Hydrosol and for really vibing with the Amber Hydrosol. Um, it's been selling out very, very quickly. Um, I, yeah, I'm just so glad that we can provide you with, um, with healthy uh, skincare, skincare sources. Um, I'm gonna get into Yomi's notes. Thank ya. So the restock is this Thursday. 
this Thursday, the 27th, um, at our normal 8 a.m. PST time, that is L.A. time, um, so 8 a.m. L.A. time. Um, this is our last restock until September 18th. That, yeah, that's right. That's a while. Oh, okay. So definitely keep that in mind. Yeah, keep that in mind. That's a long time. Uh, <laughs> cool. All right. Man, we have a lot going on then. Um, our, our, uh, t our two new jelly mask and straw baby bomb will be available during this Thursday's restock. Get there early. These will sell out. They will sell out indeed. Um, we are planning to have enough for everybody. Um, please know that these are permanent products now, so if you don't get it this time around, you'll get it next time around. Um, full body lotion will not be restocking until September 18th. Sorry, no lotion this Thursday. Um, I don't know what's going on with, with, with the lotion. There are some ingredients that um, have, have been um, out of stock for a little while, and I do not know... Uh, yeah, what the future holds for the full body lotion right now. I don't want to feel alarmed by it. I don't want to um, set any kind of energy towards it, but um, I don't think it's disappearing. So we'll just have to be patient and see. The Ethereal Collection is coming out September 2020, collaboration with Emilio Ortiz, um, Instagram handle uh, at ethereal.1. Very, very excited about that. We are fucking a f like weeks away from that. Um, I think we're a little under a month from that. All details are being sealed on it. Very, very excited. Just got um, just got noticed that the boxes are being shipped over, which is cool. Um, they are being shipped overseas, which is interesting and very mind boggling. To, to think about, but yeah, they are on their way in a ship. Uh, we are going to be filming our Red Rum short horror film in the next few weeks. We can't wait to share more on that. We just got a sneak peek at our custom boxes for that collection, and they look very, very sexy. They look so bomb. Um, no, I don't want to share anything. I can't, but we're having some amazing, uh, amazing collaborations on that. My uh, good friend, uh, Gabriel Ruiz, and then our, our other good friend that I would like to name and non be, be anonymous. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be fucking sick. Um, thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed and commented on our videos. We love hearing from you. Keep liking, keep commenting, and if you haven't yet, uh, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much um, for sticking around, um, for tuning in. I am super aware that, uh, let me just take a sip of water, hold on. I am very, very aware that that people look forward to, you know, the episodes on Monday night that you know, you'll, you'll send us, you know, messages with photos of, you know, me on your sc on your TV screens. And that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool to see me in HD. Pretty cool. How does my skin look? <laughs> um, but I, I just want to thank everyone so much. I, yeah, I don't want to be like one of those people, but that share their gratitude all the time. But I, yeah, it's just unreal. My life's just unreal. My life's unreal. Yamada's life is unreal. Leo, se Leo season ended. Actually, it doesn't even feel like it ended because it keeps showing us the truth. Um, I think Virgo, Virgo season is going to be more real. Um, and I think Libra season will, will have some nice uh, fresh air, right? October is always great. October always sheds a different light of just, um, yeah, a different air for sure. September is all about, you know, doing the work, making the magic, creating, creating with your loved ones. Um, I'm so fortunate to work with my friends, and it's been very, very rewarding, and I'm, I'm happy about my life. And, yeah, I just want to share that with, with everybody. I'm really, really content. I'm very stoked on where things are going, and um, I love you all. Till next week, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh -oh.